morning fellow nerfers, welcome back to the CJ Nerf channel. Up today we have another blaster review for you. Up today is New Island Toys' latest blaster creation, which is very similar to the Nerf Modulus line, and that is the Super Blaster Sharpshooter from New Island Toys. And I also have the accessory kit that they actually built to coincide with this blaster. So we're going to take a look at a bunch of custom setups and show you how this blaster performs. Let's go! what's in the box I'm just a little concerned because there's something rattling around in here so I hope nothing's broken but let's find out a ah, pretty cool neat little uh... okay so we got a nice blue red and gray oh that's what it was okay so they provide you with an actual screwdriver inside so we got here we got the top got some darts got two magazines so we get a 10 round, a six round, 10 darts, the blaster and the top rail, plus a mini screwdriver. Not bad. All right, let's get this blaster powered up. And the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take off this screw right here, which I've actually already unscrewed. Just be careful because it actually comes completely off the tray. So you don't wanna lose that. Okay. Oh, it looks like it's just friction fit. It's kinda cool. Oh yeah, that's it. So if you want the carrying handle on, there you go. For those of you wanting to get an idea of how actually long this blaster is, as you can see, it's pretty much right in between the original Modulus and the Recon MK2. What we're going to do is we're going to do a firing range test and we are going to test out an array of magazines as well as different style of darts. We're going to use the Lite Clear Magazine with Yamex AccuFake darts. We're going to use a Busby magazine with the original Busby suction cup darts. I have a 25 round drum that we're going to use the Purple Z uh, head darts as well as the Thermal Hunter darts that came with the uh, Busby blaster. Then we have Elite darts inside of the New Island magazine. Then we have the ones that actually come with the blaster. And then we have a Nerf magazine with regular official AccuStrike darts. So we're going to check the compatibility and the firing capability of this blaster. Okay. I want you guys to see this because I've done this a couple times off camera. The last dart in the magazine always remains in there. Okay, that shoot up, shot all the darts. No problems there. Okay, as you guys saw from that test, the Busby suction cup darts didn't work as well as I would have hoped. But that's why we do these tests, right? To bring you all the information. Ooh. I gotta tell you, both sets of those darts fired very nicely. So far, the only ones I'm having a little bit of trouble with are the Busby suction cup darts. Let's move on. Wow. Whew. I really like this, I gotta tell you. So far, I'm impressed.
And don't sleep on New Island Toys. They actually knocked it out of the park with this blaster. It's actually really, really good. I would definitely say pick one of these up. With a price tag of $24.99 and it actually is compatible with basically everything. With the exception of maybe the Busby darts, I'll give you that. You're not going to fire those. But all your Nerf darts are going to fire fantastic through this blaster. Just look at that chronograph test. The AccuStrike darts didn't lose a beat compared to the Elite darts. That's amazing. Now, I will say that when you're putting these attachments on the side and the top rail, their tactical rail is a little bit different. So it is a little bit of a looser fit, but I wouldn't say it would stop me from buying this blaster because the front barrel adapter and the rear stock adapter both work very well. No matter what Nerf attachment I took and put on the front, there was no play really or relatively little play at all, which wouldn't affect performance. The stock adapter in the back was really nice. All of these, this third party stock actually fit on here nice and tight. The recon stock was actually even tighter. Sometimes I had a problem pushing it all the way up to the hilt. But even if it was still back a little bit, it was fine because it was on there so tight it wasn't going to move. I'll show you a couple more of these barrels just so you guys know. And so, as you can see, there's really no play in it virtually whatsoever. And we can actually take the long barrel too, put that on there. And there's really no play at all. I mean, there's a little bit, but it's not going to hinder your performance in any way, shape, or form. Now, there are a couple things on this blaster, like all blasters that I got to gripe about because that's just my way. Now, the first thing is this little baby tactical rail they put under here. <laughs> now, this is really a petty complaint, but you ain't doing anything with this thing, but I just thought it was kind of funny that it was there. So I kind of really just wanted to point that out. And then the second thing would be some of the magazines didn't actually fit properly. Let me show you. Uh, let's take a s simple Nerf magazine and pop it up in there. And yes, it's in there. I'm not touching the, re I'm not touching the magazine release. I can't pull it out, use the magazine release, boom, no problems. But here is the Light Take Clear magazine. And when I put this one up there, I didn't even notice this during the range test because it didn't fall out on me. But if you, there it goes. It doesn't actually lock in. Now, keep in mind, you guys saw I was moving a lot during the range test, especially in the bonus firing footage. This didn't come out on me, so I didn't have any problems. I mean, it's in there. I could just pull it right out without hitting the magazine release. It fires fine, but you just don't have to actually hit the magazine release. So, uh, you know, I don't know. I've only found it with this magazine. I had no problems with the Nerf magazines at all, and I did not have a problem with the magazines that actually came with the blaster. So, I go figure. The fact that they offer a detachable top rail, I thought was really cool, because now you have two other tactical rails that you can use. Now, just to show you what I'm talking about as far as more of a loose fit, see what I mean? It kind of slides, but you got to really be careful to get it on the notch. But when it's on the notch, I mean, it's not going anywhere. So, you know, take everything with a grain of salt. I actually think this blaster is extremely worth it. I think New Island Toys did a fantastic job with this blaster. Small improvements could have been made here and there, but overall, this was a very quality product for a decent price. $24.99. Why not? It's compatible with basically everything. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching. And once again, from our family to yours, have a wonderful day, everybody.